guys, welcome to Rejuvenate, our beginning yoga class. Starting in this nice stretch, one knee bent, one knee out to the side, flexing through the foot, prayer position at the heart center. Reaching our hands down to the floor. And we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other leg. So the other knee is bent. And again, just flexing through the foot. Nice elongation through the inner thighs here. Hold just a few more seconds. And we're gonna bring it all the way up, toes facing forward. Nice stretch through our lower back, reaching our hands forward and clasping them around the ankles if possible. Really feeling a nice release in the hip flexors, opening those hip joints up. Releasing the head, neck and spine. And elongating one arm open up to the sky, taking a spinal twist. Good, staying nice and flat and long through that back, trying to stretch through the back of the legs. And we'll reverse that to the other side, rotating open. Good job, you guys, just working on balance here. If at any point you feel lightheaded or dizzy, just come down to your knees and you can repeat the same stretch on your knees for a little bit more balance and safety. Reaching that hand down to the ground. Good, we're just going to inch our feet closer together, heel, toe, heel, toe. As we arrive in our standing position, slowly rolling through the spine, head, neck, and shoulders, and stepping those feet out nice and wide. Hands are going to come into an eagle posture. So we're just going to cross at the elbows and try and link our hands together. Good, we're going to be going down and up in a plie here, or just a bend stretch, whatever you want to call it. There's many terms for the same movement. Keeping those arms clasped in that eagle position. In this position, you're really opening up your shoulder blades and your deltoid muscles. Those are in the back. V-shaped posture, pulsing down. We're really feeling those inner thighs working here. And bringing it all the way up to standing. Hands into prayer position. And we're going to rotate toward one leg, coming into a lunge position. Reaching our hands up overhead. This is called a warrior posture and then reaching down toward our front leg. We're going to stretch that leg long, feeling a nice release through the back of the front leg and coming back into the lunge. Good, stretching back, feeling the hamstring of the front leg stretching and back into that deep runner's lunge. Bringing it back, hips long, pointed up to the sky and back into that elongated lunge. Nice job, you guys are doing so good. Bring it back again. And this time we're going to flatten that back heel down to the floor, holding a nice deep stretch in this position. And bringing it back into that nice long lunge position, reaching our arms up overhead. Good, we're going to take that same eagle hand posture. And we're going to come a little bit deeper, holding this nice stretch. 
like this is too much, just take those hands in a prayer position. That's totally fine. And releasing up to the sky, back into that warrior posture. Reaching your hands forward and right down around your front foot. Turning it open back to that first stretch we did. And releasing it to the other side. Stretching through the heel and replace tendon. Bringing it back up. This time clasping the hands behind the back. And stretching our chest nice and long here. Opening the chest up by clasping the hands behind you. Really good work. Again, you can do this on your knees if it's too much of a balance challenge standing up. And we're going to bring it back up to standing. Keeping a nice flat back this time, reaching the arms up to the sky. Rotating around. Good, reaching up long. One big deep breath in. Gathering that prayer position at the heart center. Another deep breath out and bringing our body forward into a fold, softening our knees and hopping back into plank. If that's too much, you can step back into plank or you can just go on your knees into a nice cobra and press it into a down dog. Bringing it back to that plank position. We're going to go with a nice slow crossing of the knee. This is where that rejuvenation comes into play. We're actually really getting that heart rate going here. Feeling a rejuvenation throughout the entire body as we work. Feeling some heat coming through the body, through the core, which is where everything begins. Good, bringing that knee all the way across to the elbow. It's hard work, you can do it. And bringing it down through our up dog. and back into that down dog. Nice release and stretch. And we're softening our knees here and hopping or stepping back up to the top of the mat, rolling up. Good, you guys, we're going to come into a seated position, holding on behind the legs to get into your position and lifting our heels off the floor, reaching our arms out long in front of us, keeping our head, neck, and spine long and lifted. Good, reaching those palms up to the sky. We're going to go ahead and stretch and roll down to the floor. And reaching our hands out to the side, lifting those legs up and bringing the knees into the chest for a stretch. Good, just rocking side to side, giving your spine a nice rejuvenating massage, stretching again through the legs bending the knees and coming back up to seated. Let's bring it back up to that first posture with our heels off the ground. Good, we're going to take a prayer position here. Holding that core strong, keeping those feet lifted off the ground. If that's too much, please go ahead and plant your feet on the ground, but just keep a nice strong core pulling back and in through the rib cage and spine. You're doing so good. We're gonna hold this a few more seconds. Good, keep holding. And releasing into a cross leg position. Good, facing me now, we're gonna reach those arms up to the sky. Gather them into our prayer position, finding gratitude to our bodies for all the work that we did, all that beautiful rejuvenation you're feeling. And you guys, I'll see you next time. Great job.